The Dead Sea is dying. According to experts, this beautiful sea is gonna be gone by 2050. The Dead Sea is located in the Middle East, between Jordan and Israel. It's the lowest place on Earth and a geographical marvel. So what truly sets the Dead Sea apart is its high salt content. It's about 10 times saltier than an ocean. So this water is so buoyant, you literally cannot sink. This is my first time going in here. Woo! Wow, this is cool. Wow. This makes an experience at the Dead Sea not only incredibly relaxing, but also provides some serious therapeutic benefits thanks to the mineral-rich composition of the sea. It attracts people from all over the world seeking relief from skin conditions such as psoriasis and eczema, as well as those looking to heal their bodies and minds. So this mud that's found along the shoreline has healing properties in it, and it is found in all sorts of spas and cosmetics all over the world amazing healing properties that you want to put on after you get out of the Dead Sea. So tough. <laughs> the Dead Sea also holds tremendous historical and cultural significance. It's believed to be the location of biblical events, including the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. The area is dotted with ancient sites incredibly important to Jews, Christians, and Muslims alike. But this amazing sea is dying, and here's why. Every year, the Dead Sea shrinks by over one meter. So to put that into perspective, in 1972, it was 50 meters larger than it is today. This is causing an environmental catastrophe. Over 6,000 sinkholes have shown up all along the coast where the water used to be, sucking in major roads, buildings, and resorts that once dotted the shoreline. Today's hotel and resorts are chasing the water. Each year, it gets further and further away from the beach they built it on. Not only causing them and their guests more trouble, but also putting everyone in danger of potential sinkholes. So what's causing all of this? Or better yet, who is responsible? Firstly, the Jordan River, which is the main water source feeding into the sea. The Jordan River flows from the Galilee Sea, and since 1948, when Israel became a country, has experienced extensive water diversion and extraction for agricultural and domestic purposes. This diversion significantly reduces the amount of water reaching the Dead Sea, leading to a decline in its water level. The potash and magnesium mining industry have further increased the sea's depletion. More than half a billion cubic meters of water are sucked out of the Dead Sea every year. That means they're responsible for about a quarter of all the water lost in the Dead Sea today. And finally, it's you and me. Climate change significantly increased temperatures and altered weather patterns. As the Earth heats up, more water is lost through evaporation, exasperating the sea's drying process with a steady decrease in annual rainfall, leading to severe droughts and reduced water inflow from the Jordan River. The Dead Sea is drying up faster than it ever has. The Dead Sea is shrinking for the foreseeable future. Some people are willing to accept that fate. Are you?